Ugari won't be forgiven. There will be war if Namde cannot dies in this as custard. Mass up. Hello viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Now before I go ahead with the news in detail, I will first of all say one thing, which of course is certain. That Mazen Namde Kano will never die in this as custard. He will be out in no time. And no human being born of a woman can kill him. God in heaven is with him. He will protect him and lead his footsteps. He will be alive. In fact, champion the restoration of Biafra. Why will you follow? I'm backing up. No human being can take his life. They can only try, but they will not succeed. <laughs> and they should know one thing here. Both in the Nigerian government and British government. That will know what they have been doing. Adding some substance into his food. <laughs> they should not take us for granted that we are not stupid. Some of Biafran people may be stupid, not me. Yes, I'm not trying to insult anybody here. But this is the truth. I always choose my words. Because I know when to act and when to last. British government brought back a terrorist into this contraction called Nigeria. After Buhari died several years ago in Saudi Arabia, was buried in Shari Grief. What they did was to get an impostor. And to date, they have continued to use him to commit all sorts of atrocities in Nigeria. Not only in Biafran land. Killing upon killing. He is the only man who has always protected flooded terrorists. That was declared number four terrorist group, terrorist group in the world. But he has continued to massacre innocent freedom fighters. We know what people are doing. But like I said before, we are watching and the calamity that will fall on Nigeria. You cannot contend with it. Now let's go on with the news in detail. The leadership of the movement for the authorization of the sovereign state of Biafra Massa on Wednesday warned that Nam the Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, must not die in detention by the Department of State Service DSS. Masob warned that there would be war in Nigeria if Kano dies in DSS detention, adding that President Muhammad Buhari will not be forgiven if anything happens to him. Uche Namadu, leader of Masob, advised the federal government to allow personal physicians to have immediate access to Kano for medical attention in their said detention because of the threatening nature of his head. Yes, that should be done immediately. And we don't need a government doctor. Any doctor that is going to attend to Mazinam the Kano should come from his brother. The one in Nigeria, fine boy. The IPOB must make sure that Mazinam the Kano must not be allowed any doctor, any doctor I mean to see, apart from his personal doctor, monitored by his brother, fine boy. Because for the one in Germany, I don't even trust him. I'm telling you the reality. With the kind of things he has done for some time now, I don't even trust him anymore. Now, let's, let's read on. A statement by Madhuris, where many Nigerians and human rights organizations have called the federal government to hack into our cause for the medical treatment of Mazen Namde Kano. The people of Biafra will never forgive President Muhammadu Buhari. Left the federal government if Mazen Namde Kano dies in this detention, it will trigger war. But Nigerian state will not contain it. Yes, of course, they will not contain it. This is not all 1967 to 1970. This is the uh, 21st century. And believe me, the kind of things they will see, including the British government, is not only about Nigerian government. Because we all know where this whole thing is coming from. How can a man be released for so many months now by a court of law, by a court, all of a sudden? 
Nigerian government has continued to keep him in communicado in DSS custody. In as per what? And British government is there deceiving themselves. Thinking that they are deceiving us. I've said this before. Not even a single mosquito should bite that man. Our leader was heady, very head and strong. And the Nigerian government, in the making of Malami Mal 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 or whatever he calls himself, that charge and bell lawyer. With the help of British government, have continued to detain our brother, our leader, to date, after he was released. Nigerian government don't obey court order. They don't respect the constitution they made. And the British government have been the one aiding them. We know those things. Let's read on. Masob condemned the insensitivity and carelessness of the federal government on the threatened head of Martin Namdekano. Masob reminds President Muhammad Buhari that his sadistic and pathological hatred of the people of Biafra can never stop the actualization and restoration of Biafra as an independent state from Nigeria. Exactly. They can't stop us. Some of us may be greedy for money, and for this we are doing something else. But the truth is that many of us don't give a damn. The time will come when this so-called useless British government and their counterpart in Nigeria will be asking for forgiveness and we will not, will not forgive them then. By that time, things may have gone wrong. We have been telling, we have been telling them to do the NIFO and they are continuing to pretend. But we wait and see. Let's read on. Masao remind the people of Biafra that irrespective of the persecutions, mesmerizations, killings, the, the detentions and the maiming of our people by President Muhammad Buhari, the federal government, we can never derail or succumb. We must remain unshakable and unstoppable with a renewed determination for bifrontalization and restoration. This is it. This is what I am talking about. As we go on to fight for Mazin and the Canon's release, the rest will be done by God Almighty. Like I said before, no man born of a woman can kill him. He's a man of God, a God chooses. God will always protect him. But at the same time, we have to do the nephew because God helps those that help themselves. Look, I'm a kind of man, I believe in practical, not that I've done to believe in God. I believe in God, but at the same time, I believe in practical, not cut out of theory. This is why we should make sure that nothing happens to none can. We need our leader alive. And he will be the one to champion for Biafra restoration while we back him up. He's a man of character, good character, I mean. He's a responsible man. A man who told you that he will never pick him. And do not forget, he told you one of these brokers that any day we raise our hand to kill our own brothers that we are championing the same struggle with. Our own families. That it will delay the restoration of Biafra. If possible, it can even make Biafra not to be achieved. This is why I continue to tell everybody who need to know that we have to be careful in whatever we do. Killing our own people, our mothers, we miss one thing that we are not even ready to actualize Biafra. The enemies are there killing our people, both in Enugu state, both in Ebony state. Invited by David Umai. <laughs> are you shocked? You shocked you, right? Let me tell you something. We know what is happening. I told you the story of Bakasi boys in about those days. But time will come when I will tell you what is my connection with the Bakasi boys. That time is not yet. And everything happening in Nigeria today, especially in Biafra land, most of them I will not say, oh, I always got information. David Omahi 
is walking with Buhari hand to hand to kill our people. All this talking about Ebony uh, Ebony uh, Ebony will say to you to and then the flan need to do this, do that. My brother, the flan you see in your land today are flanies recruited by Buhari government just to collect your land from you. They are flanies collaborating with the military. Are you, have you not asked yourself a question? When this government, we are telling you that these Fulanis came from Niger, some of them came from Libya, some of them came from one bit of hair, that they are, 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 are invisible. But immediately, as ESM was created, all of them disappeared. Where did they go to? Where did they run to? If they are invisible like they claim. Fulanis you are seeing in your forest is, is imported by Buhari government. Even Tinubu is aware of what I'm saying. David Omaha is aware of what I'm saying. Imo State Governor, Oblasso Demma, is aware of what I'm saying. These are the people who plan to reduce you in number so that they will attach Fulani terrorists in your land. This man has made their money. They don't give a damn. What they're looking for is power. Power, 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 power. And when people are looking for power, they can do anything or do. They can even kill their own mother. So what makes you think that David Omai will not kill you because he's looking for power? He could not get everything done. That was why Buhari refused to support him. Some of them may be pampas governors like I always call them. But at the same time, they know what is happening. But the way to stop it is what is being difficult for them. Because of some kind of oath they have taken. This is the more reason why we have to protect our land by ourselves. Those of you who go around killing our mother should stop it. And go after the flying terrorists. This is what we're supposed to be doing. Killing our people will stop Biafra from coming. If you don't know it now. And I believe Mazin and Kalu said this in one of his broadcasts. And some of you may have come across that broadcast. That was a few years ago, before he saw the. We should always say, tell ourselves the truth. Like I said before, he will be alive to champion the restoration of Biafra. Nothing will happen to him. But at the same time, we are telling the British government to understand that we know what they are doing, what they plan with the Nigerian government to do. I asked this question in several places. Have you ever seen the so-called soldiers in our land capture any flying terrorists one day? The answer is no. If the vigilante group capture one and hand them over to them, the next day you will see them, that person, they will say they are taking him to Abuja. And when they get to Abuja, they will lose him. After some time, he will come back again. And for your information, soldiers are now part of those going to your forest to kill your mothers, to grab your land, if you don't know it now. Not ordinary Flanis again. They are soldiers, soldiers, Flani soldiers, created by Muhammad Buhari. They are the ones helping the foreign Flani now to come to your land, to create confusion, to grab your land, to kill you, to make you. This is why they continue to resist your number. Why they are going around killing up your members. At the same time, they are going around killing our people in their villages. And the governors will tell you, I don't know what to do. This and that's like he found when he said, <laughs> Is this no madness? If you cannot control your that means you don't deserve to be a governor. Like I said, we are watching and we are waiting. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra.